introduction to quantity value tables, we're going to start with our first example covering a basic quantity value table where we just complete the table to fast fashion a receipt for a grocery purchase. So Abraham buys two pounds of grapes at 98 cents per pound, five pounds of potatoes at 49 cents per pound, and two pounds of broccoli at 89 cents per pound. What is the total of his purchase? Well first we should start off by filling in our table headers. So our first column should be our items. Our second should be the quantities. How many of each are, do we have? The third should be our value. How much are they worth? So in this case it's going to be their cost. And the last is going to be our Q times V. So it's going to be the total worth for each row and then eventually the, the last box in that column will have our overall total quantity value. So that's going to give us our receipt total for this purchase. So we have grapes, we have potatoes, and we have broccoli. And this last box we write in total because the la the, each of these, the last box for the quantity and the last box for the QV columns, we're going to fill in their totals. So for our grapes, it says that we have two pounds, so our quantity is two, and 98 cents per pound, so our value is 0 0.98. Our potatoes, we have five pounds, so our quantity is five, and our value is the 49 cents, or 0 0.49. For the broccoli, we have two pounds, which so our quantity is two, and our value is the 89 cents, or 0 0.89. So what we can start to do here, we can add up our total quantity. So we have two grapes, and five potatoes is seven, and two broccoli would be nine total items. And then this box right here for now, it doesn't ask us to fill it in, so we don't need to fill it in. And when it's not asked for us to compute this, you can just put an X through it so you don't have to worry about filling it. But so you know for our future examples, this is our overall average value. Okay, and in our second and third and fourth examples that I cover, we're going to actually fill in that information. But for now, we don't have to worry about it. So now on to filling in our QV column. So this column is our quantity times our value. So it's going to be 2 times the 98 cents, which is $1.96 it's going to be five times the 49 cents which is two dollars and 45 cents and then our broccoli is two times 89 cents which equals a dollar 78 now just like any other receipt you add up each of these right we add them to get our final cost so when we add these up we get six dollars and nineteen cents as our total purchase price.